Hello, so I'm back in the parking lot of the uh, GLCC here in Walt Manors. It's a beautiful place. And looking for my little kitty that took off. And You know, when you watch an animal that's out of its element and you see how terrified they are and each new sound and the train going by, a wind taking a leaf up, and you watch how terrified and how they react. And you just start remembering, you know, we're animals too. And life is pretty scary. And we're all, we're all pretty, you know, I don't know, sensitive. A lot of us show it differently than others. A lot of us live it differently than others. And definitely express it differently than others. But, you know, if we could get past the thing of just judging each other for the moments we see someone else and maybe just look through their eyes for a couple of minutes, maybe the world would look just a little bit different, you know? Um, I've moved around a lot in my lifetime. Some people have been with the same partner or have stayed in the same part of the country. I've probably moved about 35, 40 times in my life and several different relationships so I've been invo involved in you know different family structures and then laying in bed for five years disabled and not just from fibromyalgia which I never really talked about I had a couple of accidents when I was 16 I um, was doing singing telegrams in Salt Lake City Utah yes singing telegrams uh, in a bunny suit and fishnet hose. Made a lot of money in those days and got a Camaro. I was still living at home. I had been working since I was 10 because when I was 10, 11 years old, I looked like I was 18, 19. And when I was 15, I looked like I was 25. So, you know, a lot of people pass judgment that they shouldn't have because I grew up when I was 10 uh, sexually also because I was being you know whatever but I had the whole thing I I was the mom to my mom and her kids I was financially supporting them and also before that I'd been in sexual relationship that was not of my choosing but I was growing up at 18 and at 20 I felt like an old woman I felt like I'd been through a lot and basically I had I'd already um, uh, been from one small town ostracized because my parents were divorced from a Mormon community um, I'm writing something about that uh, a script and uh, it's called yellow flashing light small community of Mormons that you don't fit in unless basically you're yellow which is Mormon if you're any other color you don't fit in but anyway I, I didn't fit in my father was excommunicated for sleeping around my mother was a young girl when she married him she was pregnant and she never really fit in there either she remained a young girl <laughs> Sometimes I think she's still a young girl. I don't know anymore because I had to cut off relations with them because I had to stop giving them my soul and my money because that was getting nothing in return. If that sounds selfish, well, when you start working at 10 and you already feel like you're a grown up by the time you're 16, and then you're on your own at 16, paying your own bills, doing your own thing. Well, anyway. But anyway, the injuries I had is when I was 16, I drove off a cliff. It was like, you know, when you go to Utah to the snow resort, there's an opening. Brandon Camaro kept going when the road curved and I had three or four compression uh, vertebrae and I squished the whole left side of my face and it's always the left side that gets all messed up for some reason and I had to pull myself out of a car that people didn't know how I pulled myself out of because there was a river 
because there's a river that runs there and my car landed right next to it. If you don't believe me, I have photos and I actually painted a picture about it. But uh, it was very steep and I had to, I falled and then I climbed and then I fell and then I climbed and then I fell and I climbed. It was like, I always say two step forward and three steps back, but I had a lot of injuries, which of course I was in shock and didn't know. I had compression fractures and uh, other things. I gotta go for now. Somebody's pulling up.